Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day 71 of A Year in My Life. Now, today is day six since I tested positive for COVID, so I'm hoping that I feel good. <clears throat> I'm tired, but I feel healthy, and I'm hoping that today I can get out of here and get back to work. So uh, I'm I decided to do a little bit something a little bit different today where, uh, you know, I'm actually going to show you even a little bit more real part of my life. And that is, let's see, ugh. I have been eating like shit lately. Ugh, that's got to go. So hang on one second. Let me set this down. So I'm not going to lie, guys. Lately, I have been eating like complete shit and you know I've I've said before that I do like I follow a diet for the most part but I'm normal like if I feel like eating a pizza I'm gonna eat a pizza if I feel like eating ice cream or carrot cake or whatever I'm gonna do it I don't believe in this completely limiting yourself and cutting everything out to the point where you're just absolutely miserable and I don't buy into the fact that a lot of the gurus on, on social media tell you that they do that too. The ones that do do that aren't happy. They are, I don't know. I'm not going to go into too, many, too much detail about it, but I just don't think that anyone that, I don't think anyone really, really lives their life 100% disciplined like that. And if they do, they're not happy or they're cheating themselves in other areas. So for me, if I feel like eating shitty, I eat shitty. And sometimes I go through these phases where <clears throat> all I really want to do is eat very shitty. And I do it for a little while. And I do it and I do it and I do it until I get it out of my system. And then I get to a mood where I'm at today. And that is that like now I'm actually like kind of disgusted with how I've been eating lately. And I can see it in my body. <clears throat> so I'm going to start a diet today. And I'm going to hit the gym twice as hard as I've been going. Uh, actually, I haven't worked out in a week because I've been sick um, and busy. But I'm going to just double up on my workouts. I'm going to clean my diet up today. And I'll, make up, I'll completely make up for it uh, for what I have been eating. And I've been happy the last several days. So that's just how I see things. All right, so <clears throat> first thing I'm gonna do is come in here and knock. Oh, oops, there we go. Uh, my notification to message Mark Wahlberg just went off, so first thing I'm gonna do is cross off. I worked on the clothing company yesterday. I did that. Did my education. I knocked out a hundred thousand subscribers, and actually, I didn't do my vocab work. So I'm gonna do that today and double up on it. So here we go. So I'll go ahead and mark. Well, I'm gonna do that, and then I'll mark that day complete. So now it's time to go get tested for COVID. Hopefully, I get a negative test so I can get back to the office because I'm going stir crazy here in my house. So. Here we go. That's like the most non-painful, painful thing you can go through. It's so weird. It's got such an awkward feeling, but it's over with and now we wait. All right. 
So today is the production company day. Well, part of my task for getting stuff done on my goals is forming a production company. So I need to actually understand what all goes into forming a production company and what kind of things I need to think about <clears throat> as well as see if Darby came up with a name yet. So that's what I'm gonna work on until I get the results back for my COVID test. Hello. Yo. Yo, hey, what's up? Did you think of a name yet? I was thinking about it all last night. I asked Liz in the middle of the night, actually, like, <laughs> year old ever, hey, what do you think of this? <laughs> like, anything I could think of was, like, black tie productions, because it's kind of luxurious. Yeah, but you're never going to wear a black tie. It's about your client base. I get that. Black tie productions. <clears throat> exclusive production. I already have a logo for McVeigh Productions that I made in film school. Well, then use that. <clears throat> Send me a logo. It, it needs help, I'm sure. Send me a logo real quick. I mean, it's on a hard drive. Yeah, I'll send you that. Um, yeah, dude, I don't... I can't think of something that, like, is universal sounding. It doesn't have to be. I don't think you should put too much name, put too much emphasis in the name. I think the fact that, like, let's see, McVeigh Productions. I mean, it doesn't sound crazy right now because it's not a big production, but McVeigh Productions, <clears throat> once you get bigger and get bigger and get bigger, it, I don't know, it's your last name. And it's kind of cool to see that, you know, as you start to come up on our, on the YouTube channel and on the, on the videos and stuff, and then you start doing your own channel. McVeigh, yeah. your last name is what becomes, that becomes the brand. I get where you're coming from, like wanting to have a universal name, but honestly, I think rather than shoot for a universal name, brand yourself because, you know, essentially that's what you're, that's how you grow it is you become yeah. the brand and people look at you and people, people use you because they like you. I'll take your advice on it. I just think, <clears throat> I just think there's no better thing than, uh, than when you build a company up or a brand up and it's got your name tied to it. Cause then it's hard to like, how do you ever argue against whose it is? Very true. Let me find this hard drive. And I can tell you what the logo looks like. It might be, you might want to find something more compact. Like, you know what a film strip looks like? Yep. It's like a film strip, but each letter is in the film strip. And it's like uh, old letters, I think. Send it to me. That sounds kind of cool. Okay. Cool. All right. Thanks. <clears throat> How to start a production company. Yeah, I get I get where you're coming from on that, but one, I already committed to her, and I, I'm not gonna go back on that. And two, yes, it's a small order for the first thing, but let's give it to her and let her get it, like get practice and and getting it done. That way, when we do perfect the first round, dude, I'll triple what we're gonna order. I don't I don't care. I dude, I, I understand that. I'm telling you, I just spoke with a few apparel people. This is gonna take about three hours a week. At most, like there's people that record their videos, they're simply just hitting. They every order that comes into ShipStation, there's a prepaid label that's already there. So all she has to do is print the label, put it into the bag, and then ship it. And we're doing 18. Even if you have, like these people, they're spending about three, four hours a week, and they're shipping out about forty to uh, four to five thousand units. We're shipping out like 2,000 units. Like I have no problem with your, your cousin doing it. We just ship it to her house. Have her do it. It takes about 200 square feet. Like what you have already in the front, that's already triple what we ordered. And like even if we triple our order, it's going to take like literally a small part of a garage. Or I know, but we need, I know, but we need, we don't need a warehouse or anything, but we need an office. <clears throat> we need an office I can register all the other businesses to. Hang on one sec. Hello? Hi, this is Anthony. This is he. 
this is actually from Formula. I was just calling to let you know you are still positive. Okay. Alrighty. All right. Okay. Well, you have a good day. Thanks. Bye. <sighs> All right. So, pretty annoying. Still positive. So, another day at my. Uh, another day stuck inside. So, that's really annoying because I feel great and I'm ready to get out of the house. But, <clears throat> whatever. All right. Well, back to work. <laughs> ceramic individual pricing is 13,000 for the panda 13,000 for the blue and 32,000 for the black ceramic those all came from at the watch standard and then that salmon Arabic dial that's for me okay so you don't want me to inventory it just put it aside yes inventory it where did I buy that though Oh, okay. I already paid for that. Cost was $9,830. And just put uh, Chrono24. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, is that all that came? Yes, sir. And then, uh, there was a rose gold uh, olive baby that came in. Yes. Uh, get that to Vic. That needs to get a light touch up ASAP. Okay, gotcha. I'll, I'll let it take note. Uh, and that came from... So that wasn't the one from... Uh, uh, who was... ...was in incoming, uh, on the incoming tab. Uh, but I don't know if that's the one that you're talking about. Uh, is that have, it's got papers, right? Uh, it came with a card. It was just watching card. Okay. What, what year is the card? Uh, 2021. 20, oh wait, hang on. Did anybody else have a sole order for that? Let me go double check and make sure the card is 2020. Ah, uh, okay, that's why. So it's, it's a 2019 one, so that must have been uh, Okay, yeah, one. that's mine. Okay, got Okay, it. that's a sold, that's a sold order for, here, I'll text you the name right now. Uh, but I need it. I need that light touch up. Gotcha. I will let Vic know and get it over to him. All right. Cool. All right. Hey. hey. Okay. Cool. Let me take this call. I'll call you back. Yes, sir. Later. All right. <clears throat> hey, what's up? Hey, dude, quick question for you. Yeah. I'm being offered a rose gold GP skeleton. Yep. Uh, for fifty-eight. How much to me? I'll buy it at sixty. 60? Alright, let me see if I can get it done. I'll get it. Is it, I'll sell it to you 60. Is it brand new? It's brand new. It's, they're getting it tomorrow. Yeah, I'll take it at 60. Okay, alright, let me call you back. Cool, thank you. Alright, later. Bye. Bye. Alright, guys. So, <clears throat> I didn't really... I wasn't able to record everything that I did today. Um, but one thing I've realized is there's a lot of stuff I do that my day goes on long and I can't record stuff. So there's some days where my videos that maybe looks like I, it maybe looks like I don't do anything, um, or my day is just not very productive. So I thought maybe it'd be kind of cool and I forgot to film it today, but well, actually I didn't think about it until just now, but I was thinking about from now on when I have stuff that I know I'm going to be caught up for an hour or so. Uh, I just can't film it. I'll give you like a little rundown of what I'm about to do and then maybe show the intro to it and then cut it away. Um, for example, today I had a two hour call with my attorney, Jimmy's attorney, uh, Marco's attorney and our investor. And we're kind of go, going over the operating agreement, the equity, how we're gonna restructure everything going forward with the addition of a new store and stuff. So obviously now that's private information and I can't, can't show any of that. Um, so that couldn't be on there. <clears throat> After that I had 
uh, a call with one of my attorneys for another hour about the production company that we're starting and the software company. Then followed that with another, I don't know, 45 minute call with the actual designer that's building our software or the design team that's building our software. And we kind of went over all of that and all the functionality and it's honestly, it's badass. But again, a lot of stuff, there was probably from, I don't know, like 10, 30 this morning to about four o'clock, I didn't leave my computer. Uh, and I can't show any of that. So that was kind of my day. But now I'm winding down. I've been doing some sales calls. Uh, just followed up another call with Jimmy to go over everything that we've gone, uh, we talked about today and we've done. <clears throat> uh, I'm having some boring but delicious turkey and spinach and roasted cauliflower. And I'm about to start my next book for week two, Ego is the Enemy. I've actually read part of this book. Uh, a while back, but I forgot what I read. So that's gonna be my book this week. <clears throat> I'll do that at the end of tonight once I'm done. I read, I've gotta read for tomorrow or for yesterday also because I skipped my reading yesterday. So I'm gonna read two days worth of pages, split it up, and I think I showed you in another video where I take these, uh, I take these sticky notes and I divide the book into seven days. So we've got, don't read the ignore. 217 pages. Thirty-one pages a piece. So what I'll go do what I'll do is I'll go through and every 31 pages I will label it day one, day two, day three. Tonight I've got 62 pages to read. I'll be honest, I'm probably not gonna get all 60 of them in because I'll get tired halfway through. So <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll do half of those tonight, get up in the morning, I'll knock out the other half. Uh, before I get my day started and I will do I'll do that in the morning, but I'll film I'll go back and I'll film for the night to give you the uh, Breakdown of what I read for those first two days is so I'm gonna leave it off with that and I'll see how much I get done tonight guys